Jessica Mishkoff and welcome to Crash Course AP World History. Books are a great study tool. They help highlight the main points. So we have a very organized notebook. It's very important to write down only the lecture notes and not everything you see on the board. Also, make sure to keep your notebook very organized. So today we are going to be talking about the Mongols. There were a lot of different places where they conquered. They conquered in, in the Ilkhanic, the Khan, the Great Khan, and the Yuan Dynasty in China. And Genghis Khan started it all, and we are all related to Genghis Khan somehow. <laughs> Next, we have guided readings. Guided readings may take a really long time, but they are definitely worth it. Now we have our textbook. The textbook is very important, and you should make sure to stay up to date on all of your readings. <laughs> Next, we have the Princeton Review or Barron's book. These can be really good for review and will really help you on the test. Review books help condense information found in the textbook. Time for the open letter. Do the summer reading. It's very important. And don't wait till the last minute because it can help your grade. Next, we're going to talk about some do's and don'ts in this class. Do complete the essays. The DBQ is your best friend. Only trust the DBQ. You won't learn about change over time until two weeks before the exam, so like, it's fine. Also, do the homework, unless you think you're the exception. You're not the exception. The Mongols are the only true exception. Don't forget to look at the website, and especially the reading calendar. Stay on schedule, otherwise you'll feel incredibly unprepared and scared and on edge all the time. You'll live in constant fear of hearing the words, take everything off your desk except the writing utensil. <laughs> Everything off your desk except for a writing pencil. You have five minutes. <laughs> Which, if you ever hear those words, that means you're about to have a pop quiz. You'll probably fail half of these, so if you get the first one back and you get a 40, congrats, you did better than most of us. Yeah. It is very important not to go on your phone during AP World History because if you're on your phone, Mr. Day will come and he will take multiple pictures on your phone. Also, if your phone is unlocked, he will come over and he will go on all of your social media and spam it. And even though you think it's funny, it's not because it's distracting you from learning. Also, Mr. Benshine will throw your phone out the window. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Benshine and Day offer many great travel opportunities throughout the year. It's a great way to learn about the culture firsthand. If all else fails, just bring them food. They're really like Chick-fil-A, and exotic foods too. If they ever offer you food, just say yes. Even if it looks life-threatening, just go with it. <laughs> 